or okay no. all right uh, I know everybody had some uh, interest over my comment I made on the last video hopefully you'll be able to see me it's getting dark now um, but what it was we was coming down we was coming down this trail and this is where Mark got right around the bend he got really really freaked out and something was like you know something like seemed like it just hung my tripod grabbed the or my monopod and just like I almost tripped over it you know hey yeah it could be the could be grass I don't know okay but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna show you what was uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see tell me if you can see more I'm just gonna show you a little bit basically there was like um, you know I, I you know I wanted to say I wanted to say when I when I first saw the images I wanted to say okay it, it looks like you know it looks like possibly it could be just a uh, pareidolia and um, you know but but I you know we already done proved sometimes that it's not that it's not pareidolia and we've done showed you what Mark looks like when Mark went into the wood line and just peeked through you know if I showed you that clip any other time you would say you would say pareidolia you know Chris you're crazy that's nothing there but we showed you that yes uh, the vegetation at times can be legit can be real okay so uh, let me know if you can't see me anymore I'm gonna go back over here and I don't know if I'll if I'll get it just right or the angle just right but basically what it was you're very dark very dark you're very dark now might not be able to see me too well but it was basically and I could be on the wrong tree, but basically it was just something, well, it looks like something like right about here. Like right about here. <laughs> and you can see what looks like a face. See what I'm saying? Obviously, as close as we are to the trail, we would have been able to see it. No doubt in my mind, we would have been able to see that. Okay? As close as that was to the trail. There's no vegetation there. There's no vegetation. Um... We would have been able to see it had something been standing there. But, like I said, you can't just dismiss everything. You cannot just dismiss everything. If you dismissed everything, then what you are becoming is a pathological skeptic, you know, to where there is nothing that you will consider. So, you have to be able to consider some things and you got to weigh it and you got to balance it, you know. What it was, you know, I don't know, I couldn't tell you people. And I don't know if you'd be able to see, can you still see me, Mark? Yeah, I can still see you. I don't you, know if you'd be able to see me it, or not. It's getting dark, Chris. <laughs> but um, uh, the spooky aspect of, what it, of it, what it was, when I, when I told everybody, it just kind of freaked me out. Um, uh, I'm just going to say what it, what they looked like in the images, okay? Are you going to release those images, Chris? Maybe we shouldn't. I'll, I got to talk to the person. All first. right. But it was in our video. It was in our video. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you looked at the images, most people are going to say, oh, it's pareidolia, you know, but I'm going to tell you, you can't just dismiss everything that freaking happened to us that day. Yeah. We had the vocals, we had knocks, and we had unbelievably eeriness that Mark was getting. We had our phones that just, the, my sister's phone came on. We had weird stuff going on. We heard the thumps and thuds. We had weird stuff going on. Okay? So what I'm saying is is that to, to stay in balance, you cannot dismiss everything. Okay? What it was, was, uh, it, you know, I don't know if I'll let them out or not. Um, but what it was, was they looked like, it looked like images. It looked like shadowy looking images um, of like ape, ape looking type faces. Yeah. Uh, behind the trees and they were kind of ghostly looking so you know I don't know if it was just my camera moving around bad movement you know of the camera that's kind of really how it sort of looked you know the Sun was coming through you know it's, dark. it's, it's getting dark Marcus hands getting dark but anyway we want be want to be we want you know I'll, I'll we'll see we'll see but if, but if the images don't come out don't fret okay but that's really what it was it was just kind of freaky spooky looking um all right so we're going to pack up and go ahead out of here because it's getting dark we're ready past the sunlight we need to be able to see the ground so we'll get snake bit out here all right so um
from the uh, Trail of Bigfoot team, people. We want to thank you very much. Bye. here in darkness now. It's almost completely dark. With no headlamps. With no lamps. And no, no. Well, don't get me wrong. I have, no, I have lights and stuff in my rucksack. We do have our phones. So, what I'm saying is, is that this is when the animals come out and feed now. During this time. So, uh, we'll just go to head back. So we can uh, err on the side of caution. There's something coming this way. It's an animal, Chris. It's in the bush. I know. Heard a stick break. And it's totally dark. I can't get it on film. <laughs>